Hello everybody, it's your girl Haram and I am back with another word from the Lord. Oh my goodness. And it is so good. It is so good, you guys. It's so good. Um and uh I just want to thank you all for coming. So if you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. And if you guys have been here since day one or just you know way before this video i want to thank you already for subscribing and joining the family we are going to be learning so much about god on this channel and this page is dedicated to the lord and so i just thank you for trusting me and um you know, just trusting me to speak into your lives and share the word of God with you guys. I understand this is not like some light thing. So, you know, I'm not just talking to be talking, but um, doing it unto the Lord, right? Because he has called me and commissioned me to do so. And so I allow, I mean, I, I am thankful that you allow me to be in your guys' life and, um, I appreciate all of you who comment and all of you who actually join in the conversation. We are a channel all about growing and going deeper um, with the Lord and deeper intimacy. And I, you know, spend time with God before I even pop up on here. So I'm not just talking, um, but that we are learning and growing in God together. So thank you all for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are loved you are appreciated and like i said if you're new feel free to subscribe you know comment like share build our family you guys so we can be one big family in jesus christ okay so today's topic oh the lord's been talking to me about this for a while but now is the time for me to actually make the video and so i was talking to the uh to god about like can you sell your soul because i've been hearing like how you can how you can't and i used to believe that like when i was new um i surrendered yielded vessel right i've always known god <laughs> it was just i wanted god to follow me and instead of me following him right <laughs> And so uh, he snatched me up and we got order together and now I follow him. And I remember in the beginning stages, I heard that phrase, like, uh, you can't sell your soul. Like, all souls belong to God. And I believe that. And, um, and just more recently, I had the conversation with God, like, can you sell your soul? And I don't even know if I was talking to him exactly or if I was just thinking about it. And then immediately he just started to explain to me and elaborate on um, on the truth and um, whether or not you can. And so I spent time with him earlier today so I could have all the information that I need to share with you guys. So I wasn't just talking to you off of the top of my head or just, you know, my conclusions and reasoning. Because I'm like, God, if you're going to have me say this. <laughs> and, like, they have, like, these people have a certain scripture that they go to in reference of, uh, like, how you can. So I was like, God, I'm going to need some scripture to back up <laughs> what it is that uh, you're telling me. Because um, they got scripture, right? And so I'm like, God, I'm going to need scripture to back up what it is that you told me because when god tells me something y'all i believe it i don't need scriptures <laughs> like i don't need anything because he's my father and if he kept me alive this long and kept me safe this long then uh, he got a down pack because i've been through things in life and <laughs> he has sustained me okay and um and i can trust him and i know i can so when he tells me stuff i believe it i don't need all the facts I don't, you know, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't eventually show me or give me facts. But if he tells me, then I believe him. And so I am here to share this great wisdom and insight that he shared with me for you guys. Because <laughs> he already told me. But he gave me greater information to be able to share with you guys. And so let's get started. So the topic, I don't know if I already said it, but it's called, Can You Sell Your Soul? <laughs> Can you sell your soul, you guys? <laughs> and if I was like savvy, you know, I had the word soul spelled out like this, but hey, we ain't there yet. But anyway, so let's start this in prayer. 
Dear Heavenly Father, oh God, oh God, oh my Lord, mm. thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Father. I just want to thank you for everybody who is here today, God, everybody that you have um, brought to this channel, God, everybody that you have trusted me with to even lead or guide or um, instill your truth into, Father. I just want to thank you um, for everything that you're doing, Father. I just pray that your children's ears are open, Father, God, ready to hear what it is that you have to say to them in this moment and in this time. God, I just pray that their hearts are receptive to the word that you are going to be speaking and the words that you have already spoken to me and what it is you're going to say through me oh god i just thank you and i honor you father god i pray they get full off of this word and excited god i pray that they can feel you i pray that they get to just ah, embrace you god and Whew, God, we just uplift your name and we bless your holy name, Father God. You are Lord of Lords, King of Kings, God of Gods, Father God, and you are supreme and sovereign. And we just want to lift you up, O oh, Holy One, O oh, Holy One, O oh, Mighty One. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. So, none of me, y'all. I'll let you go. So, this is the scripture that they always use in reference. And it's Ezekiel 18, verse 4. And feel free to join me. Okay, if you want to grab your Bible, I already have to grab uh, your Bible. Because you watch my other videos where I tell you guys, grab your Bibles. <laughs> have your Bible. Make sure people ain't lying, y'all. All right, and so for, and you guys could pause it if you actually have to go get your Bible, okay? And so it says, Behold, all souls are mine the soul of the father as well as the soul of the son is mine the soul who sins will die and then he took me to nine verse nine says if he walks in my statue and my ordinances so as to deal faithfully he is righteous and will surely live declares the lord god and so of course you guys like he's like pointing out life and death so i was just thinking like life and death and then like my mind straight like went to because i just started thinking like a spiritual death right i go to uh, i just start thinking of like um adam and eve you guys and how it was a spiritual death after they ate the apple and then god just starts to pour down more information and revelation and so he, then he started to say to me like people are still dying spiritually as they eat from the forbidden tree of knowledge ex uh, exchanging truth and then he says god's word for information and then he took me to uh first chronicles no first corinthians my bad two verse four and it says in my message in my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom, but on the power of God. Yet we do speak wisdom among those who are mature, a wisdom, however, not of this age. And he said to me, Revelation. And then he had me look up Revelation, and it means... The divine or supernatural disclosure to humans of something relating to human existence or the world. Then the scripture says, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing by, but we speak God's wisdom. And he took me back to the word revelation and I underlined a divine and supernatural because that is the definition of like uh, or where revelation comes from right and so he says god's wisdom so it says but we speak god's wisdom which is his revelation that he gives us in my oh in mysteries the hidden wisdom and then he had me look up mysteries and it says uh, something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain that i went to where it said four and it says a religious belief based on divine revelation especially one regarded as uh, beyond human understanding and then he had me highlight divine and revelation and how revelation ties into um divine and like how they're all you know together and so 
then the scripture continues and says the hidden wisdom which God predestined before the ages to our glory which is uh, the children of God okay the glory of the children of God and it says eight the wisdom which none of the rulers of this age has understood and I was like and still don't right and then as I said that continued and then it says for if they had understood it and then he started to give me more <laughs> information and he said which is why he said we are still being crucified and then he had me look up crucified and it says and one of the reasons were criticized someone severely and um, um relevant oh oh snap y'all I don't know what that's it's a little sloppy Unrelentedly, maybe? Unrelentingly? I think that's mm, my N and I think that's an R. I think that's it. <laughs> Look it up, you guys. It's more clear on the internet, okay? Instead of this sloppy handwriting. Anyways. And then it says uh, persecution. And he had me look it up and it says hostility and ill treatment. And then uh, another one was persist annoyance or harassment. And then the scripture continues and said they would not have crucified uh, the Lord of glory. So let me read that again without all these, uh, with the extra information, which though is good information. So it starts with the wisdom which none of the rulers of this age understood. If they had understood it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. 10. For to us, God revealed them through the spirit. For the spirit, which is his spirit, searches all things, even the depths of God. That's, that should tell y'all something. And that his spirit is the only spirit that searches humans, or knows all things of humans in all the depths of God. Right? All truth. And then after that, I was like, okay, I was like, and we know all things belong to God, even souls, right? And so after that, he led me to Matthew 10, verse 28, and it says, Do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him, God, who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Then he wanted me to take you guys to Jude, uh, verse 9, it says, But Michael, the arch uh angel when he disputed with the devil and angered with uh and argued about the body of moses did not dare pronounce against him a railing uh judgment but said the lord rebukes you they're fighting over the body you guys and then god took me to the scripture and uh, it was called the body is the Lord, and so that was another thing. He was like, and that's mine, <laughs> and then that is, uh, and you guys can read that. So that is First uh, Corinthians six. Uh, you can read twelve through twenty, or fifteen through twenty if you just want to get straight to the point. And then he had me write those who belong to God, His children. And so then after that, he took me to Psalms fifty verse 10 and 12 you <laughs> so right now he's just is showing us what's his right and then psalms 50 verses 10 uh, and i'm gonna read through 12 okay it says for every beast of the uh, of the forest is mine the cattle on a thousand hills i know every bird of the mountain and everything that moves in the field is mine if I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all it contains. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> and when he gave me that, you guys, I just threw this book. I just threw it. I said, I'm done, guys. I said, <laughs> they don't even need any more. I think we get the point. Everything is yours. Souls, everything is yours, right? I'm like, oh, God, be the lawyer, okay? <laughs> Convince anybody. <clears throat> All right, and so then he led me to Mark 12, uh, verse 29, and this is Jesus speaking, okay? And it says, uh, Jesus, <clears throat> oh Lord, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Okay, so it says, Jesus answered, the foremost is, and this is in caps, this is all caps, 
Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the uh, the Lord our God is the one Lord. Thirty, and you shall love the Lord your God. And he had me underline those your God with all your heart and with all your soul. And you guys, soul is uh, God remind me. Mind, will, emotion. Mind, will, and emotion. Thank you. Mind, will, and emotion. And with all your mind and all your strength, love him. Okay? He's talking about love him. With all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And then it says, and he had me look up strength. It said, the capacity of an object or substance to withstand great force or pressure and when I read force he was having me think of like the kingdom of darkness like their force okay like like think about it like okay like withstand their force okay their great force like that you need to use all your strength to choose God over and over and over and over again giving him your heart your soul and your mind using all your strength because he understands it's not you know just going to be like something easy you know like that's why uh, thank you god like in um the prayer that jesus tells the disciples right he also says in there like um the one where it's like hollow be thy name He's also saying, like, and keep me from temptation, right? So he understands there is temptation there. And so you need to use your strength to resist the force coming against you to make you rebel or go against what he's asking you to do, which is his command, by the way. So then after that, he led me to Mark 8, verse 34. And then this is Jesus as well. And it says, and he summoned, and God had me look up summon, and it says author, authoritatively or urgently call on someone to be present. So Jesus is summoning them like urgently and with his authority telling these people, it says, and he summoned the crowd and his disciples. So with his authority, think about that. He's summoning them to tell um, them what I'm about to read to you. Summoning the crowd who's been following him and his disciples. And it says, it says, uh, and said to them, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. 35. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel and then he said, picking your side, right? Like, this is picking your side. He said, will, and then he said, indeed, <laughs> uh, save it. And then 36, he says, for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? And then he said, because his children, this is what he was saying on the side, like, because his children aren't of this world or kingdom. So now it says, for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? And forfeit his soul and then it says for what will a man give in exchange for his soul and then he had me look up uh, exchange and it says an act of giving one thing and receiving another and then one of the things they had on there was the giving of money for is equivalent in the money of another country and then he told me to go to Ephesians and uh, chapter 4 17 okay and it says, So this I say and affirm together with the Lord, that you walk no longer just as the Gentiles also walk in futility of their mind, being darkened in their understanding, excluded from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardness of their heart, and they having become callous, having get have and then lord help me and they having become callous have given themselves and he underlined give have me underline given themselves okay so give in exchange you know profit you know um and forfeit like just think of these things okay giving exchanging selling right uh so it says 
and they having become callous have given themselves over to sensuality or the practices or the practice of um being i think that no okay the practices of every kind of impurity impurity with greediness but you did not learn christ in this way if indeed you have heard him and have been taught in him just as truth is in jesus that in reference to your uh, former uh, manner of life you lay aside the old self which is being corrupted in accordance with the lust of deceit deceit didn't you just say the word ignorance too? All right, help me, Lord, because I am. And to see, and that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new self, which in the likeness of God has been given in righteousness and holiness of the truth therefore laying aside falsehood and then this is all caps right here speak truth each one of you with his neighbor all caps and then it says for we are members of one another then he led me to john 10 10 and it says the thief and he had me right satan <laughs> comes only to steal and kill and destroy I, come, I came that they, and then he said, us, his children, and those who want to be, may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord Adam listen to the reading of his word. And then he um had me um also go to... Um, Romans. Okay. But anyway, you guys see like how all of this is like going together. And then another thing too that he had me look up um more recently. When I recorded this video the first time and it ain't work. <laughs> Was he had me look up uh, the word selling, right? Because we're talking about can you sell your soul? And so selling means give or hand over something in exchange for money. That's what selling is. And that's how you are able to also sell your soul, right? And, um, and so before I do that, let me read this. And then I'm going to tell you the rest of what he was saying to me. And so Romans, uh, we're in chapter 1, verse. we're going to be reading verses 28 through 32. And it says, And just as they did not see fit to acknowledge God any longer, God gave them over to a deprived mind to, uh, to do those things which are not proper, being filled with all unrighteousness, wickedness, greed, evil, full of evil, murder, strife, deceit, malice. They are gossip, slanders, haters of God, uh, insolent, uh, arrogant, uh, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, without understanding. <clears throat> That's one, without understanding. Um, untrustworthy, unloving, unmerciful. And although they know the ordinances of God, that those who practice such things are worthy of death, they not only do the same, but also give hearty approval to those who practice them. Now talk about it. Talk about it, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. That be... And so in that, like, <laughs> so what God was saying to me previously before giving me all the scripture, what he had said to me was when he first gave me the revelation was, um, he was saying, houses are mine, right? But people sell them and make money off of them, right? Profit, sell, right? And then he said, people make food, right? But they sell it. But that's mine too. The cattles are mine. Everything is mine. But people can sell it and profit off of it. And so then what he started to say to me was like, 
the soul, right? It's the mind, your will, and your emotions, right? And so when you are selling your soul, it means you're giving up your mind, right? Thinking, understanding your mind, right? And then you're giving up your will, so your ability to do, and then your emotions. So how you feel about it doesn't even matter, right? And a lot of people will give up what they stand for, give up what they believe, give up, you know, um, who they are, the way they think, right? The way they feel, the way they, um, God, what's the other one? Like their will, right? And so, and convert over to doing what is unholy, unrighteous, unclean for the sake of money like even in signing contracts right where it's like okay well we expect this from you and so now you have to conform to what is in it once it's signed you make an agreement you are starting a new covenant and so what it is is in selling your soul it's that you are giving up your mind your will your emotion for a profit right you are trading in what your holiness your righteousness right for the things of the world you are selling it and now the enemy is able to use it and two a good thing um uh verse and stuff on this would be in luke so luke chapter four is really good and i did a video called like uh, who does your destiny belong to or something like that I, god gave me a lot of revelation even in that and the breakdown of that and so you guys should go watch it if i figure out how i could add it to either the top or um at the end of the video as an option and so selling your soul is basically you are giving it up and what god has said even to me was like he gives it over to a reprobated mind like once you decide to go that way and you want to serve the enemy because you can't have two masters right it's either him or it is satan like there's no in between lukewarm is satan okay and i had to learn that even for myself right i had to go through a whole stripping and a cleaning process because i was lukewarm and i didn't even know it but um that's a testimony for another time but um yeah and so when we are like selling our souls or giving it up or exchanging our mind right our will and our emotions for money for money we are being used so now our mind is used for the enemy now our will is serving the enemy now our emotions attached to the enemy you get what I'm saying? And so God wants all of us to know, because he came for me first, uh, that you can sell your soul. And, you know, it, even like he was just saying to me, like the enemy preys on, and P-R-E-Y, on ignorance. And he plays on our ignorance, right? And the scripture says, like, my people perish you know, for a lack of knowledge. And then the other scripture is my, uh, the just is delivered by knowledge or through knowledge. And so the thing is, where are you getting your knowledge from? What apple are you biting into? Where are you seeking information, right? Because we become like Adam and Eve when we start to um, want to know more about the world's view on something. When we start to want to know um and dig into other avenues to get information that god knows and god has you know so be led by the holy spirit and in getting your information uh, get your information from his word you can never go wrong with getting the information from god's word right and i know sometimes you know people feel like they don't need to read the word but let's be realistic like you can't read the bible without the holy spirit when it's inspired by the holy spirit there's deeper information like think about a person who writes a book why do they get 
interviewed, right? Why are they on a TV show? It's not just to promote themselves. They're doing the interview because the person interviewing wants to get more information on the knowledge that they put in the book. And instead of asking their friends and their family, they interview the person and say, okay, tell us more about this. What was, they ask questions to get more information. And it's the same with the Holy Bible, right? When we want information about what's on there, we ask God, what do you mean by this? What does this mean? Can you help me understand? Like, you can't get it without the Holy Spirit. That's why there's people out there and they just read you know the bible and they're like oh this is fake oh da, 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 whatever you know and it's like no you didn't ask god to help you understand what he's talking about instead you take it at, at face value and you neglect the spirit that has all the answers and knows all things like come on now you guys like let's be more realistic like ask god holy spirit like help me to understand what i'm reading and he will tell you because he wants you to be free isn't that what the whole bible is about the whole bible is about redemption about how many times the people go astray and god comes for them like and even just speaking in that like you know even like if you did sell your soul like god can still get your soul back like if you are alive come on now and there's a scripture where god even says like i paid for you like with a ransom you know like somebody else like <laughs> paid the price for you to be back like you know and and god is so loving uh, like there's nothing he won't do for his children leave the 99 for the one you know so it's all about like the intent of your heart you know like do you really want to be saved do you really want the lord like do you really care or are you just saying this to get out of your mess to go back into your mess because god is here to save and like really save i know like there's christians you know who don't make it look good but just because you know we it's just, you know a righteous man falls seven times and gets back up i'm gonna give him some grace and some mercy and then there's just some where if you watch my video called satan in the church you will find out that some are just agents and they're there to make you go astray you know and i was talking to god about this earlier like wow like it's so crazy how like satan can do all this damage in the church and cause your children to not want to be in the church but your children don't have a burden on their heart to redeem your church instead of going and wanting to learn to be able to become the pe preacher or the pastor right or um the apostle the evangelist the prophet whatever to make your name great again and to clean up your name because people are tarnishing it they'd rather just run and say oh he's not real instead of saying god use me use me to correct this use me to redeem your name and your you know and the way pe your image how people look at you use me let me rise up to do what they're not doing what these agents of satan have done to lead your children astray so they go to hell because they don't know any better and they are stuck in the spirit of rejection and an orphan spirit and like they <laughs> rise up you guys like let's make god's name great let's redeem his image because he is a wonderful god i think <laughs> help me lord because <laughs> now i'm just talking about <laughs> how i'm feeling right because i just feel like man like why aren't we like david out here like ready to slay goliath like you uncircumcised philistine like how are you gonna talk about my god like that and but you know i think we should start taking these things to god and just like really wanting to do his will and show people what it really looks like to serve God and another thing is don't idolize people and put them in his position have a relationship with him so he could show you who he is right like you shouldn't be going off of what people tell you anyways like if he sounded so wonderful in that person's life why aren't you getting to know him why aren't you like oh 
I don't want to know that. Like, you know, let's be stirred up. Let's be on fire. Let's be excited. Because I kid y'all not. Mm. God is the best. I would not replace him. He is El Shaddai. I would not trade him for anybody, anything. Like, I am good over here i am wonderful i am living my best life because christ is back on the throne and my idols are knocked out of the way and so i just pray this message blesses you guys um because y'all it blessed me it set me free i said oh way god you know but he wanted me to tell you guys and to share this information and so i just pray that it frees you guys if you uh were stuck on the other side of believing that you can't um and i just pray that like you know um you start to take things back to god like let that be our lesson <laughs> before we just smash something let's take it back to god like is this true god you know let's test the spirit more you know but again like i said that was no you know i just surrendered and everything and i heard and i was like yeah you can't you know but now I'm more mature, God's like, okay, let me explain, baby girl. <laughs> let me get you together. And he did. And God is such a good God because when he delivers one, he uses us to deliver the rest and to be a blessing to the rest of you guys. So thank you all for listening to what the Father had to say. Now let's um go ahead and close this out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Magnificent Majesty. Day. Father God, I just pray that you just close this information up, up in us, Father God. Pray that you put it in the depths of our hearts and sew it up so the enemy cannot steal your truth. Holy Spirit, I pray that you send them confirmation on what you've revealed to me today. Father God, I pray that you would pour into your children. I pray, Father God, that if any of them are going through anything, going through shame or disappointment or the spirit of rejection, Father God, I just pray that you would cover them in your love today. I pray that you would bless them with the peace that surpasses all understanding, oh God. I pray that they know that they are wanted and accepted by you. I pray that they know that nothing can make you unlove them and that it's never too late for them to turn around and give their lives to you oh god we thank you and we uplift your name father god and we bless your holy name we bless it we bless it we bless it for you are sovereign and mighty father god you are excellent in all of your ways and we are just grateful that we get to know you and honor that we get to spend time with you god for it is an honor and a privilege to be in your presence and to hear your voice so father god i just pray that you continue to speak to us and allow us to recognize your voice and discern your voice father god in jesus name we pray amen and for any of you guys who have not ex accepted him as your lord and savior um now you can don't you worry i'm gonna help y'all out <laughs> so just repeat after me dear heavenly father forgive me forgive me for the sins that i've committed day out and day in knowingly and unknowingly father bring them to the forefront of my mind so i may repent one by one the things that i have done that have defiled your name and defiled my body father god in which where you live god i just ask that you would search my heart oh god and point out to me anything that is unlike you and anything that you do not want there father god and i pray that your holy spirit searches me and changes me for your glory and your will father god give me the strength father god to complete the race that you have set before me so i may serve you all the days of my life oh god may you get the glory out of who i am father god may you increase my love for you may you help me to love you with all my heart all my mind and all my soul oh god and with all of my strength father let me see you for your goodness let your words to my ears father god be like oh a sweet lullaby that i am in love with that i play over and over and over again father may i meditate on your words and become one with you and close with you oh god help me to lay my life down father god for your sake help me to lose my life for your name's sake and pick up 
my cross and follow you all the days of my life oh god holy spirit change me i invite you into my heart to change me to search me to renew me and to do a work in me father god you said the flesh is weak but the spirit is willing so father god i am willing to be a vessel unto you oh god be the lord over my life rule reign have dominion and subdue me father and cast down every thought every imagination that exalt itself above the true knowledge of god and i submit it and surrender it into the obedience of jesus christ father god stir up my gifts stir me up stir my heart up make me fall more and more in love with you and let me see you for who you are change me oh god i am ready in Jesus' name we pray amen 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 and you guys can rewind it and say it with me or you can say pray from your heart you know repent okay and make him lord over your life I am a sinner and admit it and then ask him to help me to recognize it and change those things grace me to change those things you guys when I learned that um it wasn't me who changes me but it's the Holy Spirit who changes me freed me friend gave that to me set me free and I remember a word I was getting a lot around that time it's like you will be unrecognizable and y'all I'd be blown away about who I am these days <laughs> because I I listen this was not my plan it was the Lord's plan and I surrendered to it all right you guys I love you with the love of Christ the love of Jesus again welcome to the family if you guys have subscribed feel free to like comment share if you feel led so a seed into this ministry God has gifted me with you guys so we can do the work of the Lord together people need people and so thank you for being a part of my life and i pray and i hope that i am a blessing in yours all right you guys i am out of here bye